What's up guys? It's Matt from JakeyShack.com and uh, this is going to be the first part of a video series on how to disassemble the Chevy Volt battery past the uh, module uh, into the actual individual cells so you can repackage them. Uh, in this video we're going to go over how to actually mechanically remove the cells um, from the pack. And uh, this is the uh, e-bike pack I made. This is a 13S. 48 volt pack for the e-bike. So this is kind of like where we're heading. Um, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a razor knife with a new blade on it. Um, the point is the uh, having the fresh blade is pretty important as it's kind of pretty difficult to cut. Uh, you're also going to need either the top plastic piece that originally comes on the modules or you're going to need something else, some other kind of non-conductive um, thing so that you can put over the um, tab so you don't short it out when you're cutting the other side. I've got my solar panels hooked up to this battery bank. There's a couple things that I need to talk to you guys about safety. Um, I highly recommend that you electrical tape one of the tabs, if not both of the tabs. Um, if you're unsure, definitely at least one. Make sure I do a positive on all of, uh, all of mine. If you're going to store these and they're gonna, there's a possibility of them getting removed or whatever and shorted out, like this will literally burn your house down. This isn't like this isn't like a hand holding safety meeting. Like this is. This legitimately will destroy everything you own. So be very careful when you're doing these procedures. Um, do it outside. If the battery starts looking like it's getting really hot and it's uh, starting to puff up, like run away. Like these literally will explode. I don't know. It, to be honest, I don't even know how dangerous they are. I know they can burn your house down. It'll probably burn the shit out of you if it explodes. Like this is no joke. So um, do it outside, be very careful, make sure that you protect the areas. If you want to even tape the other terminals that you, think, that you know are hot, um, yeah, just be very careful when you're doing this stuff. This is not like, don't let your, your eight-year-old kid go out and just start like cutting your battery. Like, this is a very surgical procedure, and I just like, hope you guys know that before you start. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're safe about it, it's totally, totally doable. And, uh, and I wish you guys the best. Alright, so as you can see, this is the module, kind of how you pull it out of the uh, pack. Each one of these tabs here is the positive and negative tab of each cell. So if you short any of these together, you're uh, going to have a bad time. These cells are rated to continuously discharge 100 amps each. And there's three of them in parallel, so that's um, almost 400 amps of con dis continuous discharge ca uh, capability. As you can see, if you, up in here, I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually the tabs just go up in here. So you can take this plastic piece, and these just kind of break off, and you can throw those away. And then there's also some foam in here. You don't need that. There's also these uh, these metal heat, heat things. These are to basically take the heat out of the pack and move them into the cooling channel. Um, you're not going to need these either, so you can just toss all these. Okay, so if you look in there, each one of these, uh, they're kind of in groups of three, and each group of three goes to a tab here, which is uh, welded onto the uh, this metal, like, horseshoe-looking thing. So, basically what you have to do is, you find the side with the metal, and then you find the side with the tabs, which is going to be this side. So you basically need to cut right underneath, right on the bottom side of that weld right there. 
The problem is, if you just use a knife, and then you short from this one to this one, you have a huge arc flash. So you need to use the plastic piece to cover up the other one. Basically something like that, so that you have enough so you can actually get the blade in there. So what you want to do is you want to cut the very bottom of these welds with your knife. Now it's going to take two hands, so um, it's going to be really hard for me to hold the camera and do this, but basically you're going to cut here, cut here, and cut there. And then after you cut those, then you're going to cut the cut across this strip, this strip, and pretty much the edges too. So you're going to cut, eventually you're going to cut all the way across like this. And there's three tabs there you, you got to cut through before you actually get into the metal. So that's why it's important to have the sharp tip because you actually need to cut through all three of those tabs. So as you can see, those three are now detached. And now for the other side. Something I have found to be useful is uh, to use channel locks. And actually uh, bend this. Bend this tab back a little bit. You can actually get your knife in there a little bit easier. Same thing. Now you can actually, as you're going, you can kind of uh, pull the cells out as you cut them. And there you go, you have your full cell. Now make sure that you don't lay it on some piece of metal, because if these two touch, same thing, bad time. So either use some uh, electrical tape to tape up the uh, tabs, or make sure you set them on a non-conductive surface. So I'm just going to set them here and I'm going to lay the tabs off the side, like that. And go back to uh, moving the next one. There's the other one. And then uh, you have the side with the writing and the side with no writing. And if you take the cells with the writing, the positive is always on the left. So you can stack them. You can stack them like this, but the, if they're all facing the same way, you can stack them, and if the leads, if the ends touch, it's fine. Do not stack them the other way. If you stack them the other way, you'll short both of them out, and they'll blow up. So always make sure you have them the same way. It's better probably to store them separately, but if you're going to stack them, make sure you stack them the same way. Alright, the last thing I'm going to show you with the uh, pliers, 
is how to flatten out the uh, tip of the. Uh, you can see they're kind of like bent a little bit and wavy. So if you take the back end of the pliers, you just roll that. And then the tabs will be flat. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. That's part one of this series, video series. Um, gets you to the. Uh, you should have three of these by now. Um, so go ahead and stockpile how many U cells you're going to need for your project. And in the next video, I'll show you how to connect them together.